Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be performance uh, test result. Uh, if you remember, uh, I think a year ago, I have done some unboxing of the uh, Netgate uh, SG5100 uh, uh, box and then load it with the uh, PFSense. And uh, some of you, uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do the, the performance test. And then uh, I'm new to PFSense and and uh, let's just see uh, for a quick reminder of uh, what the box uh, uh, hardware uh, look like. For the CPU, uh, it's Intel uh, Atom uh, C3558 uh, clock uh, at 2.2 uh, 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 gigahertz, the four cores and then including uh, hardware crypto. A uh, AES uh, NI, it's uh, for a VPN, and uh, with a reasonable 4 gigabyte of uh, memory, and then 2 gigabit uh, RJ45 Intel i2110 uh, for a WAN. This is for IGB0 and IGB1, and 4 gigabit uh, RJ45 for uh, Intel SOC and uh, with integrated the Mac for the LAN, uh, this uh, belong to IX0 until IX3. And for the USB port, uh, we have here uh, two times uh, 3.0 USB, and then including the console port uh, with the mini USB. This is uh, basically or mainly used uh, when uh, you initially set it up the PFSense, and then uh, with PuTTY. And what is awesome about uh, this box is actually penless, and uh, so the and uh, it's uh, doesn't make any noise. And then with uh, relatively uh, powerful hardware, regarding for the uh, H, uh, HD, we have here is M2 SATA, not NVMe, and 100 gigabyte of data. And uh, this is basically for uh, NT or PNG, mostly use it for that. And the packages, uh, I install a PF blocker, as always, I love PF blocker. It's actually make my uh, surfing experience more nice and smooth. Uh, I'm, I'm tweaking as well, like what kind of thing that I like to block and let it uh, pass. And for Surakarta as well, uh, I love Surakarta. Seems like it's very uh, 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 useful and it's very uh, things a little bit uh, more uh, require more uh, power from the CPU. So for this hardware, it's uh, work really well. So uh, what I did was for the performance, uh, I try to test it. One thing that I was able to come up with, I set the, the netgate sg5400 to a bridge mode uh, between the lx0 and lx1 essentially create a switch although it's not the intention uh, but i try to see how well it's actually uh, able to perform and uh, uh, surprisingly here is that uh, it it hold up pretty well for uh, several minutes uh, and then i transfer uh, the 20 giga byte of video file uh, with MKV uh, container and then initial CPU was uh, at uh, 36 percent with the memory at 50 percent and temperature of 40 degrees Celsius and uh, and then after about uh, uh, um, three minutes later or so uh, and the uh, CPU uh, is actually throttling like at uh, 74 percent and the memory uh, increase uh, for 60 percent and then two degrees uh, extra heat and then you can see here uh, it's actually uh, throttling which I actually expected them to be because you can imagine uh, that uh, it is not a switch it's intended to uh, do other thing it's essentially but with the PF sense, you can set it up as a switch. The next one is actually the PF uh, VPN performance. Fortunately, I haven't had time to also set it up. I have still need to figure it out which VPN provider that is that I would like to select and set it up into the PF sense. I'm 
new to the PF Sense world. Like uh, probably like a year ago, I started to uh, see what is PF Sense. Seems like it's more, it's a good uh, uh, router. And then I'm learning along the way how uh, I'm using them. Uh, let me know if you want me to uh, really uh, make the video of the VPN performance. And I don't know how I'm gonna, um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And if you have also information on how to do the setting up uh, for a uh, half newbie, or uh, I wouldn't say mine is newbie, but it's more like uh, newbie slash intermediary. But uh, if you have any information, let me know so I can have a look and see whether I can set it up uh, my firewall into uh, VPN as well, uh, so that I can see how well it's actually. Uh, perform uh, uh, as uh, the uh, netgate advertise is actually work very well compared with other uh, box but uh, for the real world performance i like to have it there as well and uh, yeah uh, overall uh, this is actually quite good box i liked it and i would highly recommend if you really like uh, uh, also to have very solid uh, uh, firewall and I think when you have it here, probably uh, when you buy it once, you're probably not going to change them for, you know, uh, five years or six years or even 10 years. Uh, there is no new uh, en enhancement on the, on the PFSense itself. And because over time, the software become more and more hardware uh, resourceful so that they really need uh, powerful hardware. But I do not see uh, with this... Uh, I think I do not see with this uh, leap uh, that uh, they're not going to take that many leaps in the sense of we are already at the mature uh, software development, I think. And uh, with the current hardware, I could confidently say that uh, it would last for at least five years and then it would be useful if you like uh, an extra uh, uh, after that, then uh, extra year after that, then it's just a plus, because uh, it's an expensive flat. I think it's about seven hundred uh, dollar, or in here is I or seven hundred or eight hundred. I couldn't recall. And uh, yeah, it's for uh, you know consumer grade uh, stuff. It's a bit uh, expensive, but uh, well, you have a PF blocker. You can add PF blocker in there, and then you have don't have to worry about uh, the uh, uh, that you have a solid firewall and then you talk them there and then uh, essentially that uh, you have a good uh, it's an investment for five years at least so uh, thanks guys for uh, watching and uh, 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 I guess that's it and then I'll see you next time and let me know by the way if you want me really want me to have a follow-up video on the VPN performance and comment down below and then uh, if you don't want to miss any new video, you know, uh, just subscribe. I'm not really in the YouTube things, but yeah, well, somebody has to make the video and I did it. So see you next time.